Yo, what's good, bro? Welcome what's back up? to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the worst mistakes any starter developer could be making. The reason I'm making this video is because you already know I made all the fatal mistakes I'm about to mention. So, naturally, it's my job to prevent you from making the same mistakes I made. Oh. Now, back in the day, there were a couple of videos like the one I'm about to make right now. But by the time I saw them, the damage had already been done. But hey, it might be different from you. It's never too late, right? Yeah. So pay attention to what I'm about to say if you want your learning progress to be a lot faster. And it really doesn't matter if you're a scripter, builder, or measure, or whatever. Do not make these mistakes. All right, let's get it. Number one. <laughs> Putting too much time and effort into one project way too early in the journey. I remember back then I was so desperate to have at least one win under my belt. At least something I could show to the world to signal that I am a developer. That I tried super hard to complete just one project. Even if it meant spending two whole months trying to figure out how to make things work. You can already imagine why this is bad for you, especially at the beginning. What's crazy is that everyone will tell you to experiment. Even I have told you to experiment, but honestly, you are not meant to experiment at this stage. You're meant to master the basics of your branch first. If you're a scripter, you must fully learn how to script first. If you're a builder, you must fully learn how to build first, etc. I'm telling you right now, man, that the project you want to make right now, if you fully master the basics of your branch first, it will be so much easier for you to make it. I remember the same project I spent two months working on back then, I can literally make it an afternoon or less right now. You learn how to do the basics first, and this will speed up the process of not only the game that you want to make, but also any future games that you want to make. Everything's in the basics. Number two, not practicing enough time. This goes kinda hand in hand with the previous one, but it's somewhat different. Actually, this is not something I failed to do myself, but I know a lot of people that have should be spending at least 90% of your time learning. It will be a boring stage, but trust me when I say that you will only be as good as your foundation. You see, when you're starting, you're in the most important phase of your journey. And the most important thing you should be doing is literally just that, learning. Because this way, at least you will know that something exists when you need it. Trust me, if you don't, the amount of time that you will lose in the future is not funny at all. If you don't focus on building a nice foundation, later down the line, you will at the very least waste time researching about how to do stuff, not to mention that your actual skills themselves will become floppy. Imagine building a tower that doesn't have a solid base. Exactly, that's dangerous. Now we move on to number three. The third most common mistake I see starter game developers making, I mean myself, I feel prone to this, is that they focus too much on commissions. Once you accumulate a bit of knowledge and experience, you can finally start earning some Robux. However, I'm one that for starters is very against commissions unless you're very very good at what you do. And even then, I think sometimes it might not be worth it. So doing them early on is a very bad idea because this will not let you progress in the things that you want to progress. Commissions tend to be somewhat simple things if you don't have a lot of experience. I really mean like a lot. Honestly, they will limit you. You should be focusing on getting as much knowledge as possible on how to make as many things as possible. Just stop worrying about getting those extra 2k, 3k, 4k, 5k robots right now, which will be nice, right? But if you're a developer, you should- Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. You can really be gaming, especially early on. So just forget about those robux buy the game pass you want to buy or to buy that new drip for your avatar you put your head down solidify your bases and become valuable as a developer and you create interesting games that are actually fun to play you'll earn much more and more robux than any commissions you can get after all you don't see top developers doing commissions they collab which is different because in collaborations they tend to go for percentages because they know games are gonna make a lot of money they know people and they get together to make games that are fun and they split the profits. And that's the point you should be striving to get to, not getting those extra 2k, 3k, 4k, 5k robux. I mean, of course, if you want to do some commissions just because you're curious, go ahead and do it. I did it myself, but do not be constantly chasing the commissions. There are some people that spend literally half a year just doing commissions. Make your own projects instead. This is all for today's video. Let me know if you're making any of these mistakes or if you think different from me in any of them. Anyways, stay safe, man. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.